Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're good and welcome to a little haul. It is it is fairly little. This is everything that I added to my shelves in January, and spoiler alert, it's mostly manga. The first one, however, is not. I bought The Romeo Catchers by Alice Arden. This is the second book in the Casket Girl series, and for quite a while I had books one and four. I then received book three for Christmas, so I thought I would just buy book two. The reason that I had them in this weird order is because I was buying them as they were reduced, because they were fairly spenny, but this one actually wasn't too bad when I ordered it, so yeah, I was completing my collection. I've read this one, and I've read the first one, but I haven't finished the series yet, and I do kind of want to reread the first two books and continue the series, especially because Andy from As Ever Reads is uh, literally been reading this, <laughs> which is why I then was like getting it because um, I've got FOMO because I love the first two books very much, and um, yeah, I mean it's my own fault. I literally, I think I bought at least one of them, maybe maybe two of them for her, maybe more. I can't actually remember. I just really wanted her to read them. <laughs> and now I want to read them too. This is like based in New Orleans and there's this uh, law around girls coming over from Paris, France, to New Orleans um, in the olden days. And they had all their stuff in like a casket, but people used to say that maybe there was actually vampires so it's like a vampire witchy story set in New Orleans it's as perfect as it sounds um the vibes are impeccable and it's also set kind of like after a big storm it doesn't specifically say that it's Katrina but it's kind of like that kind of thing and um yeah I love this I love this the first two were so good and I listened to them on audiobook and then they stopped making the audiobooks which is kind of why I stopped reading the series so now I need to I need to redo that I had one pre-order this month. It was the next bind up of Tokyo Revengers. I think I think you guys know what this is, but just in case, this is about Takamichi, who used to be part of a gang and they have become something truly awful. And one day he wakes up and finds that his high school girlfriend, who's never really got over, has been killed by the gang. Something happens, he can go back in time and he's trying to save everyone. Try and save Hina, his ex-girlfriend, he's trying to save the kids that he was in the gang with and stop them kind of going down this dark path and also kind of fix his own life. It is um, one of my favourite things and has made me cry quite a few times. So yeah, I really need to continue this. I've got two bind ups to read now because of the whole being scared to cry again thing. Me and my friend Jess and my cousin Wendy, we went to Norwich for the day and obviously we took a, a trip to Waterstones. Because of course we did. And I came out with three things. So I got volume four of Bongo Stray Dogs. This is like a um, kind of like mafia gangs versus detectives. Is that what they are? Yeah, I'm detective agency. Um, and all the characters are kind of like based on authors. So they have like these abilities as well that are kind of based on or seem to be based off the author's works. I am only two volumes into it, but I've got volume three. I did buy these ones in order. And I thought, well, I might as well get volume four while I see it because for some reason, uh, finding this in stores, not easy. <laughs> not easy. <laughs> Even when I was in Forbidden Planet in London, I was trying to find volume three, didn't have it. So if I, if I see the next available volume that I need, I just get it because I am really enjoying this series. I also picked up volume two of Kimono Jihen one day i'm going to learn how to pronounce this i just read the first volume of this for the roadhouse of reads vlog which i'll link above and i really 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 enjoyed volume one i'm very intrigued about where we're going it has to do with like there's a detective agency but there's also like i don't really know how to describe it it was very good the first volume was very very good and i'm excited to see where this is going to go and then a little out of left field for me but kind of not really the obsession with Frankenstein has become apparent over the last couple of years. <laughs> well, the last year. <laughs> um, so 
I didn't buy another edition of it, but I found this little book. This is Transformation by Mary Shelley. It is like a hundred pages, and I think there are like three short stories in here. One called Transformation, The Mortal in The Mortal Immortal and the Evil Eye. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to try out some more of her works because she has written other things. I don't know what any of them are off the top of my head, but I thought this might be a good way to kind of give some of her stuff a try because um as I say, me and classics don't necessarily get on, but I do love Frankenstein, so maybe I'll like Mary Shelley's other work, and this is kind of like a taster for that. Then I purchased some manga for future vlogs. Uh, they're not necessarily the same vlogs, but they, they will be potentially in vlogs in the future. The first one is Platinum End. This is by the same duo that do Death Note, so the same author and artist. And it is about angels? Yeah, so this guy, Mirai, Mira, Mirai, is pitted against 12 other chosen humans in a battle in which the winner becomes the next god of the world. It sounds amazing. And the cover, I don't know if you can see, can you see the shiny? Oh, you can. Yeah. I'm not saying that I mostly wanted it physically because it's shiny, but it helped. I also bought PTSD Radio Volume 1. Um, or bind up one it's one one i bought this because everyone said it was really weird which is <laughs> like say less <laughs> also i i read somewhere and i wish i could remember where i read it somebody or, or i saw it in a video somebody has said that the author of this gave himself ptsd while writing it now i don't know if that's true that is not a fact I'm not presenting that as fact. I'm just saying it's something I heard. And I don't know. It's either going to be really good or I don't know. It could be, well, I think it'll be really good. I've heard mostly positive things about it. I've heard like one person or a couple of people say like it's not scary or like that the story is hard to flow or there is no story. Um, but you know, that's not necessarily a thing that bothers me. I just like my weird spooky shit. Uh, and then the last one I bought for a vlog is the Kurosagi Corp Delivery Service, um, which I am super excited about. <laughs> but I didn't realise that it was an omnibus. I, it clearly says omnibus edition, yet my 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 poor little pea brain did not pick that up and so when it arrived i was shook because that is that's that's quite chunky that's quite chunky this is about five young students at a buddhist university find there's little call for their job skills in today's tokyo among the living that is but their studies give them a direct line to the dead the dead who are still trapped in their corpses and can't move on to the next reincarnation whether you died from suicide murder sickness or madness they'll carry your body anywhere it needs to go to free your soul i just thought it sounded really cool i just didn't realize that it was quite so chunky this was kind of like kind of pitched as weird uh, but mostly i just really fell in love with the title and i needed it in my life and then i finally bought heartstopper volume five everyone else is probably like received and read this already and for some reason I, I didn't order it for ages I hadn't pre-ordered it and I didn't order it and then finally I did and I'm so glad because now I really want to read it and this is about Nick and Charlie and they're adorable everyone knows what heart suffer is I don't need to explain it I need to pick that up ASAP and finally and also the last thing that I added to my shelves in January is uh, Alice in Borderland volume three because I read volume two and the way it ended, no sir, no. There was absolutely no way I was gonna be able to leave it there for a long period of time. I ordered this immediately after finishing volume two and uh, yes, I will be reading it as soon as possible. And there you have it. That is everything I added to my shelves in January. I feel like I was very well behaved this month. Go me. In the comments below, let me know something that you bought in January or something that you need to get your hands on ASAP. Or if you just want me to know you're here, that purple heart is always appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more content from me, remember to hit that button and leave a like if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!